Mitt Romney, who cast the lone Republican vote against President Trump, he didn't always publicly hate President Trump. Actually, back when he ran in 2012, he welcomed President Trump's endorsement. Here's just a little clip. There are some things that you just can't imagine happening in your life. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, <laughs> being in uh, Donald Trump's magnificent hotel and having his endorsement is a, a delight. I'm, I'm so honored and, uh, and pleased to have his endorsement. And of course, I'm looking for the endorsement of the people of Nevada. And, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump has uh, shown an extraordinary ability to understand how our economy works, to create jobs for the American people. He's done it here in Nevada. He's done it across the country. He understands that our economy is facing uh, threats from abroad. He's one of the few people who stood up and said, you know what, China has been cheating. They've, uh, they've taken jobs from Americans. They haven't played fair. We have to have a president who will stand up to cheaters. I spent my life in the private sector, not quite as successful as this guy, but uh, <laughs> successful nonetheless, sufficiently successful to understand what it takes to get America to be the most attractive place in the world for innovators, entrepreneurs, and business, and, and uh, job creators. So I want to say thank you to Donald Trump for his endorsement. It uh, means a great deal to me to have the endorsement of, of uh, Mr. Trump and people across this country who care about the future of America. It means a great deal to get Donald Trump's endorsement. It means a great deal to him. It's such an honor because Donald Trump has done a whole lot better in business than Mitt Romney, not my words, Mitt's, because Donald Trump beyond his business success, has a keen understanding of our economic problems. He has a keen understanding of our foreign policy. This was no ordinary endorsement when, when Trump agrees to endorse Romney. Romney gets up there and gives a full-throated endorsement right back of Donald Trump because Romney was getting something for, for it at the time, because Romney was personally benefiting from it. So he just said words. But then later on, not, what, three, four years later, he contradicted every single one of those words. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. His domestic policies would lead to recession. His foreign policies would make America and the world less safe. He has neither the temperament nor the judgment to be president. And his personal qualities would mean that America would cease to be a shining city on a hill. His bankruptcies have crushed small businesses and the men and women who work for them. He inherited his business. He didn't create it. And whatever happened to Trump Airlines? How about Trump University? And then there's Trump Magazine and Trump Vodka and Trump Steaks and Trump Mortgage. A business genius he is not. Well, he was more successful in business than you, Mitt. That's according to your own words from three years earlier. So what does that make you? If Trump isn't a business genius, then are you a business dunce? No, you're just disingenuous. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing uh, speech that he gave during the 2016 election because it's not just that he says, hey, I really don't like this guy. I think he's bad news. I think he's bad for the Republican Party. He's bad for the office of the president. He doesn't just say that. That would be at least defensible. It's an election campaign. People say a lot of things. He, he goes through his past endorsement of Donald Trump point by point and says the opposite of everything he said then. Three, four years earlier, he said, Donald Trump is a great businessman, a better businessman than me. Then he says Donald Trump is a business failure. He knows nothing about business. He's a fraud. Three years, four years earlier, he said, Donald Trump knows how to deal with China, knows how to deal with our foreign adversaries. Four years later, what's he say? Donald Trump's foreign policy would be a disaster. Four years earlier, he says Donald Trump's economic policies are wonderful. He has a keen understanding of the economy. Four years later, Donald Trump's economic policies would lead to recession. Point by point by point. So he was either lying then in 2012, or he was lying in 2016, or somewhere in that three or four year period, Everything wonderful about Donald Trump that Mitt Romney had praised completely fell apart. Which one was it? Which do you think? Romney has done this his entire career. So he goes after Trump. He lambasts him in the 2016 election. But then that's not the end of the story. Mitt Romney then goes back 
and thanks the president, embraces the president's support when he was running for senator in Utah just a couple years ago. He tweeted out, quote, thank you, Mr. President, for the support. I hope that over the course of the campaign, I also earn the support and endorsement of the people of Utah. Well, if he's a fraud, if he's a disaster, if he's a con man, why the hell would you welcome his support? You welcome the support of con men who would destroy our country, who would lead us into foreign chaos, who would, whose economic policies would lead to recession, who, who's defrauded people for his whole career? You welcome the support of that kind of man? Of course he does, because Trump was popular. Trump won the election, and Romney is just a glad-handing politician. Okay, fine. Politicians, politics makes strange bedfellows. I understand that. The problem here is with Mitt's sanctimony. You know, I saw this in 2012. I just knew it. The guy was an empty suit. That's fine. There are a lot of politicians who are empty suits. But then don't stand up there and pretend to be the standard bearer of conservatism, to pretend to be purer than the newly driven snow. Mitt Romney certainly does not get that. And he is, his vote was pure vindictiveness because it, it doesn't matter to history. It doesn't, look, the president's going to be acquitted. It has nothing to do with the arguments. The House impeachment managers did not make a single argument that the president committed an impeachable offense. Not one. They didn't even try. It matters because he had to get that last nip. The only thing that Mitt Romney had the power to do was to try to make it look as though this was a bipartisan impeachment process. 535 members of Congress, one Republican, that one Republican was the one who voted for this. And I don't think it was out of principles. I think it was out of petty personal animosity. Hey, Michael Knowles here. And the fact is a life of cigars and scotch does not come cheap. So please be sure to subscribe to The Daily Wire on YouTube because I depend heavily on your support to continue this wonderful lib triggering life. Thanks.